welcome and welcome back in the last video i called the i got the 30 i got the 31 day 30 but that was day 31 on sunday now today we are moving to day 32 Deuteronomy chapter 3 to chapter 7 which we are reading today chapter 3 to chapter 7 Chapter 3. Then we turned and went up the road to Bashan. Please watch the other episodes to know where we are continuing. And take a Bible. Take a Bible. And read, and read along with me. Oh, right. Take a Bible and read along with me. Then we turned and went up the road to Bashan. And Og, king of Bashan, came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edre. And the Lord said to me, Do not fear. Him, for I have delivered him and all his people and his land into your hand. You shall do to him as you did to Sion, king of the Amorites, who dealt at Eshbon. So the Lord our God also delivered into our hands Og, king of Bashan, with all his people. And we attacked him until he had no survivors remaining. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we did not take from them. Sixty cities, all the region of Agob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan, all these. All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars, besides a great many rural towns, and we utterly destroyed them, and as we did to Sion, king of Eshban, utterly destroying the men, women, and children of every city. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as booty for ourselves, and at that time we took the land from the hand of the two kings of Amorite, of the Amorites, who were on this side of the Jordan, from the river Anon to Mount Ammon. The Sidonians called Ammon Syrian, and the Amorites called it Senir. All the cities of the plain, all Gilead and all Bashan, as far as Saka and Edre, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan. For only Og, king of Bashan, remained of the remnants of the giants. Indeed, his bedstead was an iron bedstead. It is not in Rabbah of the people of Ammon. Is it not in Rabbah of the people of Ammon? Nine cubits is its length, and four cubits is white, according to the and four cubits its width, according to the standard cubit. And this land which we possessed at that time, from Aroa, which is by the river Anon, and up the mountains of Gilead and its cities, I gave to the Rebanites and the Gadites, the rest of Gilead and all Bashan. The kingdom of Og I gave to Av, the tribe of Manasseh. All the region of Agob with all Bashan was called the land of the giants. Jah, the son of Manasseh, took all the region of Agob as far as the border of the Geshurite and the march and appetite, and called Bashan after his own name, about Jah to this day. After I have, after also I gave Gilead to Makir, and to the Rebenets, and the Gadites, I gave from Gilead as far as the river Anon, the middle of the river of the border, as far as the river Jabok, the border of the people of Ammon, the plain also with the Jordan as the border, from Chinneret as far as the east side of the, of the sea of the Araba, the Salt Sea below the slopes of Pisgah. Then I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess. All you men of valor shall cross over armed before your brethren, the children of Israel. But your wives, your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, shall stay in your cities which I have given you, until the Lord has given rest to your brethren as to you. And they also possess the land which the Lord your God is giving them beyond the Jordan. Then each of you may return to his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at, at that time, saying, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So will the Lord do to all the kingdoms through which you pass. You must not fear them, for the Lord your God himself fights for you. Then I pleaded with the Lord at that, at that time, saying, O Lord God, you have begun to show your servants your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there? In heaven or on earth, who can do this? Who can do anything like your works and your mighty deeds? I pray, let me cross over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, those pleasant mountains and Lebanon. But the Lord was angry with me on your account and would not listen to me. So the Lord said to me, Enough of that. Speak no more to me of this matter. Go up to the top of Pisgah and lift your eyes toward the east, the north, the south, and the east. And lift your eyes toward the west, the north the south and the east. Behold it with your eyes, for you shall not cross over this Jordan, 
but command Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him, for he shall go over before these people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which is which you will see. So we stayed in the valley opposite Beth Pearl. Chapter 4. Now, O Israel, listen to the statutes and the judgment which I teach you to observe, that you may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your father has given you. You shall not add to the word which I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did at Baal Pearl. For the Lord your God has destroyed from among, from among you all the men who followed Baal of Pearl. But you who held fast to the Lord your God are alive today, every one of you. Surely I have taught you statutes and judgments, just as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should act according to them on the land which you go to possess. Therefore be careful to observe them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the peoples who will hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what great nation is there that has God so near to it as the Lord our God is to us? For whatever reason we may call upon him. And what great nation is there that has such statutes and righteous judgments as are in this law which I said before you today? Only take it to yourself and diligently keep yourself, lest you forget the things your eyes have seen, unless they depart from your heart all the days of your life. And teach them. It's a lot of noise. And teach them to your children and your grandchildren. Especially concerning the day you stood before the Lord your God in Oreb. When the Lord said to me, Gather the people to me, and I will let them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days they live on the earth, and that they may teach their children. Then you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire to the midst of heaven, with darkness, cloud, and thick darkness. And the Lord spoke to you out of the midst of fire. You heard the sound of the words, but saw no form. You only heard a voice. So he declared to you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, the Ten Commandments, and he wrote them on two tables of stones. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments, that you might observe them in the land which you cross over to possess. Take careful heed to yourselves, for you saw no form when the Lord spoke to you at Oreb out of the midst of fire, lest you act corruptly and make for yourselves a carved image in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on the earth, or the likeness of any wind bird that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, or the likeness of any fish that is in the water beneath the earth and take it lest you leave your eyes to lest you lift your eyes to heaven and when you see the sun the moon and the stars all the hosts of heaven you feel driven to worship them and serve them which the lord your god has given to all the people under the heaven under the whole heaven as a heritage but the lord has taken you and brought you out of the iron furnace out of egypt to be his people from inheritance as you are this day furthermore the lord was angry with me for your sakes and swore that I will not cross over the Jordan, and that I will not enter the good land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. But I must die in this land. I must not cross over the Jordan, but you shall cross over and possess that good land. Take it to yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of the Lord your God which he made with you, and make for yourselves a carved image in the form of anything which the Lord your God has forbidden you. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. When you beget children and grandchildren and have grown old in the land and act corruptly and make a carved image in the form of anything and do evil in the sight of the Lord your God to provoke him to anger, I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that you will soon utterly perish from the land which you cross over, which you cross over the Jordan to possess. You will not prolong your days in it, but will be utterly destroyed. And the Lord will scatter you among the people and you will be left few in number among the nations where the Lord will drive you, and there you will serve gods, the work of men's hand, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. But from there you will seek the Lord your God, and you will find him, if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. When you are in distress, and all these things come upon you in the latter days, when you turn to the Lord your God, and obey his voice, for the Lord your God is a merciful is a merciful God. He will not forsake you, nor destroy you, 
nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore to them. For ask now concerning the days that are past, which were before you, since the day the since the day that God created man on the earth, and ask from one end of heaven to the other whether any great thing like this has happened, or anything like it has been heard. Did any people ever hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire, as you have heard and live? Or did God ever try to go and take for himself a nation from the midst of another nation, by trials, by signs, by wonders, by war, by mighty hand and an outstretched arm, and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes? To you it was shown that you might know that the Lord himself is God. There is none other besides him. Out of heaven, he let you hear his voice, that he might instruct you. On earth, he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their descendants after you, and he brought you out of Egypt with his presence, with his mighty power, driving out from before you nations greater and mightier than you, to bring you in, to give you their land as an inheritance, as it is this day. Therefore know this day and consider it in your heart that the Lord God is, is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath. There is no other. You shall therefore keep his statutes and his commandments, which I have, which I command you this, which I command you today, that it may go well with you and with your children after you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord your God has given you for all time. Then Moses set apart three cities on the side of the Jordan toward the rising of the sun, that the mind that the manslayer might flee there, who kills his neighbor unintentionally, without having hated him in, in time past, and that by fleeing to one of these cities he might live. Bezar in the wilderness, and the plateau for the Rebanite, Ramot in Gilead for the Gadites, and Golan in Bashan for the Manasite. Now this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. These are the testimonies, the statutes, and the judgments which Moses spoke to the children of Israel after they came out of Egypt. On this side of the Jordan, in the valley opposite Beth Paul, in the land of Sion, the king of the Amorites, who dwelt at Eshbon, whom Moses and the children of Israel defeated after they came out of Egypt. And they took possession of his land and the land of Og, king of Bashan, two kings of the Amorites, who were on this side of the Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, from Aror, which is on the bank of the river Anon, even to Mount Sion, that is Hermon, and all the plain on the east side of the Jordan, as far as the Sea of Araba, below the slopes of Pisgah. Chapter 5 And Moses called all Israel and said to them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which, which I speak in your hearing today, that you, may learn, that you may learn them and be careful to observe them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Oreb, the Lord did not make this covenant with our Father, but with us, those who are here today, all of us who are alive. The Lord talked with you face to face on the mountain, from the midst of the fire. I stood between the Lord and you at that time to declare to you the word of the Lord, for you were afraid because of the fire, and you did not go up the mountain. He said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, you shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy, as the Lord your God commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall not, in it you shall do no work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of the cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gate, that you, that your male, uh, that your male servant and your female servant may rest as well as you. And remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God brought you out from there by a mighty hand and by an outstretched arm. Therefore the Lord your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, that your days may be long, 
and that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, and you shall not desire your neighbor's field, and you shall not desire your neighbor's house, his field, his male servant, his female servant, his ox, his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. These words the Lord spoke to all your assembly in the mountain from the midst of the fire, the cloud, and the thick darkness, with, with a loud voice. He added no more, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone, and gave them to me. So it was, when you heard the voice from the midst of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, that you came near to me, all the heads of your tribes and your elders, and you said, Surely the Lord our God has shown us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice from the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that God speaks with man, yet he still lives. Now, therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of the Lord our God anymore, then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh who has heard the voice of the living God speaking from the midst of the fire as we, as we have and lived? You go near and hear all that the Lord our God you go near and hear all that the Lord our God may say, and tell us all that the Lord our God says to you, and we will hear and do it. Then the Lord heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of these people, which they have spoken to you. They are right in all that they have spoken. Oh, that they had such a heart, oh, that they had such a heart in them, that they would fear me. And Always keep all my commandments, that it might be, uh, it be well with them and with their children forever. Go and say to them, Return to your tents, but as for you, stand here by me, and I will speak to you all the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which you, which, you shall, which you shall teach them, that they may observe them in the land which I am giving them to possess. Therefore you shall be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. Chapter 6 Now this is the commandment, and these are the statutes and judgments which the Lord your God has commanded to teach you, that you may observe them in the land which you are crossing, which you are crossing over to possess, that you may fear the Lord your God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I, which I command you, you and your son and your grandson, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. Therefore, hear, O Israel, and be careful to observe it, that it may be well with you, and that you may multiply greatly as the Lord God of your Father has promised you, a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the door opposite of your house and on your gates. So it shall be, when the Lord your God brings you into the land of which he saw to your father, of which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you large and beautiful cities, which you did not build, houses full of all good things, which you did not fill, even out wells, which you did not dig, vineyards and olive trees, which you did not plant. When you have eaten and are full, then beware, lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Israel of Egypt. From the house of bondage, you shall fear the Lord your God and serve him, and shall take oaths in his name. You shall not go after other gods, the gods of the people who are all around you. For the Lord your God is a jealous God among you. Lest the anger of the Lord your God be aroused against you and destroy you from the face of the earth. You shall not tempt the Lord your God as you tempted him in Massa. You shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God, his testimonies and his statutes which he has commanded. And you shall do what is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with you, and that you may go in and possess the good land of which the Lord swore to your fathers, to cast out all your enemies from, from before you, as the Lord has spoken. When your son asks you in time to come, saying, What is the meaning of the testimonies, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord our God has commanded you? Then you shall say to your son, We were slaves of fire. <laughs> we are slaves of Pharaoh in, the, in Egypt. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand, 
And the Lord showed signs and wonders before our eyes, great and severe, against Egypt, Pharaoh, and all his household. Then he brought us from there, that he might bring us in, to give us the land of which is swore to our fathers. And the Lord commanded us to observe all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God, for our God, for, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is this day. Then it will be then it will be righteousness for us if we are careful to observe all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us. Chapter 7, the last chapter. When the Lord your God brings you into the land which you go to possess, and has cast out many nations before you, the Hittites and the Gigashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Arvites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when the Lord your God delivers them over to you, you shall conquer them and utterly destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them, nor show mercy to them, you, nor shall you make marriages with them. You shall not give your daughter to their son, nor take their daughter for your son. For they, will return, for they will turn your sons away from following me to serve other gods. So the anger of the Lord will be aroused against you and destroy you suddenly. But thus you shall deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and, bring, and break down their sacred pillars and cut down their wooden images and burn their carved images with fire. For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself, a special treasure about all the people's a special treasure above all the peoples on the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love on you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any other people, for you were the least of all peoples. But because the Lord loves you, and because he would keep the oath which he swore to your fathers, the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you from the house of bondage, from the house of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Therefore know that the Lord your God he is God, the faithful God who keeps command, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments, and he repays those who hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not slack with him who hates him, he will repay him to his face. Therefore, you shall keep the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which I command you today to observe them. Then it shall come to pass, because you listen to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord your God will keep you. We keep with you the covenant and the mercy which is sought to your fathers, and it will love you and bless you and multiply you. We will also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land, your grain and your new wine and your oil, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flock, in the land of which is sought to your fathers to give you. You shall be blessed above all peoples. There shall not be a male or female barren among you or among your livestock. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness, and will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of, e of Egypt, which you have known. But we lay them on all those who ate you. Also you shall destroy all the peoples whom the Lord your God delivers over to you. Your eye shall have no pity on them, nor shall you, nor shall you serve their gods, for that will be a snare to you. If you, if, you, if you should say in your heart, These nations are greater than I, how can I dispossess them? You shall not be afraid of them, but you shall remember. But you shall remember well what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and all and to all Egypt, and the great trials which your eyes saw, the signs and the wonders, the mighty hand and the out and the outstretched arm by which the Lord your God brought you out. So shall the Lord your God do to all the peoples of whom you are whom you are afraid. Moreover, the Lord your God will send the honest among them unto those who are left. Who hide themselves from among, from among you, who hide themselves from you are destroyed. You shall not be terrified of them, for the Lord your God, the great and awesome God, is among you, and the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you little by little. You will be unable to destroy them at once, lest the beasts of the feet become too numerous for you. But the Lord your God will deliver them over to you, and we inflict defeat upon them until they are destroyed, and it will deliver their kings into your hand, and you will destroy their name from under heaven. No one shall be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them. You shall burn the carved image of their gods with fire. You shall not covet the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it from yourself, nor take it for yourselves, lest you be snared by it, for it is an abomination to the Lord your God, nor shall you bring an abomination into your house, lest you be doomed to destruction like it. You shall utterly detest it and utterly abhor it. For it is an accursed 
thing. The end of today's video. The that second day video. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good. Today, a little story. <laughs> today I met my. Let me see my coach. Yeah, my tutor. I was teaching me something. I was teaching me programming, basically. I was teaching me basically programming before, and because because I was not with him anymore, I did not go. I don't meet him anymore. I did not do anything. I did not do anything about the program that he was teaching me. So I was doing something else. But from today, I I don't know, but. I think everything is just working around, working together for my own good. <laughs> Today, I planned my time as I used to, and there was like five hours, five hours left that I don't have, that I don't have anything scheduled for. So, I met him, he encouraged me to not let my time be wasted, and I have five hours, like literally five hours, five hours. Of unplanned time, so that time I used to do. I used to improve what I've been learning on programming, and from today I'll be doing program. That is on. <laughs> as I'm still talking, that doesn't have anything to do with Bible reading, but yeah, I just thought to share that. So I will start. I'll start learning again. I'll start learning. I'm not free. Hopefully, I will be able to do something with it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. And please, apology, apology. Ah, uh, the video I, I'm I was supposed to post on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday. I thought I would post them on on Sunday, but I don't know for some reason there was no internet here. There was no internet access. I was not able to log in. I was not able to do anything. I was not able to post those videos, but I'll post them today along with this one and you'll see them all. Thank you very much for watching and please accept my approach. <laughs> now it looks like I'm incompetent, but it's a network, it's just a network. Uh I'll see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.